what's up everybody it's prince of destruction here and today we are gonna be talking about the skill mirror turn transfer trick with shadowina and serpentex so without further ado let's jump right into it so first of all you you need to select a base in which your monsters specifically your shadowina and your other monster are faster than the enemy so in my case i'll show you i am using k911 over here and that is mainly because of the fact that k911 can hold Keradar's horn with the turn stats if any ally is under a negative status effect removes negative effects from them so any status effect that they throw at me as a status caster especially for example uh, some monsters apply uh, sunburn at the start of the battle and that can take away your Shadowina's life and you don't want that to happen and for this specific reason you want to remove the negative effects that are applied to your team and another thing that you want to do is that you want to equip your Shadowina with Autumn's Cross and this is a very easy talent to get because all you have to do is do King Autumn's Irasega and you will have it so what this does is when the turn ends the monster that has it equipped will gain skill mirror so if Shadowina goes ahead and she does an extra turn skill right after that extra turn skill ends she will get skill mirror and this allows her to turn transfer as it is one of her skills let me show you over here so for serpent X you need Viper Venom because this also applies skill mirror to himself so this allows you to turn transfer to Serpent X and give him a lot of turns. I will show that in a moment. Let's have a look at Shadowina skills now. So you need the three extra turn skills. Dismantle spell, Heart spell, Shadow spell. Heart spell tra uh, trade disables while well, Dismantle spell removes the enemy's positive effects and Shadow spell just turn transfers. Well on the other hand Silence Eye all it does is it removes all negative effects from all allies so if we're talking about k911 you can have a lot of different setups on him but this is the one that i'm going with because anti-fire would be in cases there is elvira on the enemy team this would help me in removing the evasion in one single effect or one single attack so one single attack to remove it uh, and this also comes in handy when there is Elvira and Galvanus because then I can remove and then trade disable the enemy and spinning hands is very useful in case there is only Galvanus and uh, Lumuna Iva on the enemy team because this trade disables all the enemies so yeah uh, fire extinguisher is there just in case you need to heal and apply the damage boost so that's like a cherry on top but let's not talk about that let's go and do the trick so one thing that you want to make sure is that your shadowina is faster than the enemy as i talked about it before so let me show you uh 23,000, 20 so the highest speed on the enemy is 24,000. you want your shadowina to be faster than that mine in, in this case is 25,912 without any team speed of course and my K911 in this situation is 27,000 and that's because that he will go first and cleanse using Keradar's horn and right after him Shadowina will get a turn in and do what is needed so let's click fight and see how it goes uh, I've put three strengths on Serpentex just to make sure that he OTKs the enemy team but you can try and do like true strengths one team speed but this is preferable because this ensures that you one shot the enemy all right you can see some tortures applied Kirito's horn removes that now I'm going to do anti-fire removes positive effects from all enemies there we go their evasion is gone and that's that's mainly because I want to remove the anticipation from Galvanus I'll go ahead and do hush spell and let me slow it down for you notice how I gain skill mirror because remember what Autumn's Cross does at the end of the turn apply skill mirror skill mirror is applied to me 
Now I have this skill over here, applies light hitter to one ally and gives one extra turn to one ally. And it's not necessarily an ally, you can do it to yourself. So let's go ahead and do that. And boom. Now you have two turns, as you can see in the turn order. And this is where you go ahead and do the combination. Now there is one mistake you need to avoid and that is use hush spell first and then do dismantle spell otherwise you will not be able to cycle so let me show you uh, her spell dismantle spell her spell boom Tetsuman's uh, mask also kicks in this is to make sure that you don't run out of stamina uh, I've also gave her a mutant stamina rune to make sure that her stamina is more than enough so shadow spell turn transfer to serpent Dex. this is very very important don't turn transfer to yourself you will be wasting stamina the first turn transfer that you get do it on serpent Dex. boom now this monster as i uh, showed you earlier has this skill viper venom let me slow it down and uh, show it to you applies abomination heater applies triple damage and applies kill mirror and vulnerable uh, and vulnerable is not really meaning a lot here because uh, when we are finished with the combination we can just do silent side to end the game and the vulnerable will be gone so let's do it it will apply skill mirror to our ourselves and notice how in the turn order our shadowina has a turn right after it and this is the main part about it so skill mirror also my volcanic strap kicks in but let's do it hush spell dismantle spell hush spell shadow spell on serpent X. and now i can just take the combination from there shadow spell hush spell dismantle spell shadow spell and just go ahead and do final shadow spell over here and you can do the silent eye so it removes all negative effects from all allies it's spammable uh, but that's not really what we care about right now because yeah all we have to do is just give three turns to serpent Dex. boom the vulnerable is cleansed you now have abomination hater light hater triple damage and voila the enemy is dead and of course they come back from the dead oh my god what are we supposed to do now well you have three turns in the turn order and remember you still have your light hater so boom and the enemy is dead and for those of you wondering how I was able to use the same skill twice without the the countdown or the cooldown uh, it's because I was using Arcdruid sigil which deactivates cooldowns when any monster is dead so let's uh, go ahead and try for example this team if our speeds are good enough we can definitely outsmart it or uh, yeah you can we can do it so you look here 24,681 and 25,912 yeah we are faster let's click fight and in this case our AOE trade disabled skill will come in handy let's do this spin in hands disabled trade on all enemies and applies vulnerable and also deals metal damage let's disable their trades boom they cannot touch me now and one thing you wanna make sure when attacking is that the enemy does not have any sort of stamina removal relics cause in that case you would uh, be in a loss in terms of stamina so you do hush spell and our skill mirror is active let's turn transfer to ourselves hush spell dismantle spell and you literally take the combination from there yeah it's that easy you do viper venom again apply skill mirror Shadowina has another turn and now she can just go ahead and do whatever is needed so you can see over here a lot of com a lot of turns and uh, there is one more thing that in some cases your Shadowina is literally gonna be able to take down the enemy light monster due to the light hater in this case it, it didn't happen but it can happen so let's cleanse the vulnerable and the reason I recommend cleansing the vulnerable and not recharging is because uh, if you look here Shadowina's essence deals 50,000 damage and with vulnerable it would deal around I think it would deal 75,000 or something damage and you definitely don't want that so 
just go ahead and do insensible heat boom the enemy is dead they come back back from the dead but that's not uh, you know that's not scaring us because we, we literally have two more turns boom they are dead again so you see how we took on an evasion base an anticipation base even a double anticipation base and you can even take on this base if you are fast enough I don't think I am fast enough in this case because they are all 150s but you get the idea here uh, I'll see if I find another suitable base and I'll record that one too alright so this is the demonstration of K911's Kirdar's Horn and that's mainly because uh, let's say if the K911 on the enemy team or the denier on the enemy team goes first and they do something against you, Kirdar's Horn will cleanse and you will still take the combination from there. But of course you need to make sure that you are faster than the enemy's attacker and the monster that can potentially be a threat to you. For example, if the enemy Galvanus goes, you definitely don't want this combination because uh, Galvanus, if you remember, he can apply anticipation to the whole team and that would be hard to deal with. So make sure that you go before Galvanus. And in this case, we are going before Lamuna Iva. We're faster than her, but slower than K911. But that's totally fine with us. Whatever K911 does will be cleansed by Kirdar's Horn. And he uh, disabled the trade on me, but that's fine. Kirdar's Horn. Uh, I can heal if I want. I can do the trade disable on Lamuna and I'm going to do that because she has skill mirror so leaving it on to Shadowina won't be a smart option and this is why I recommend this skill boom and their trade is disabled let's go ahead and do her spell to start the combination skill mirror thanks to Adam's cross let's turn transfer to ourselves we have two turns now now we can turn transfer to our serpent text, set up the skill mirror using Viper Venom of course. And now we are all for it. Let's let's just go ahead and turn transfer till we're out of stamina. So shadow spell, her spell, dismantle spell, shadow spell, or the all these different skills. So you do silence eye over here to cleanse the vulnerable especially in this case uh, the you know the Shadowina's essence would have killed me without the cleansing oh that that K911 is strong but it's totally fine uh, because we have uh, three three turns in the turn order and there's also Kirdar's horn uh, sorry my bad there's also Shadowina's essence so that could also kill them but of course uh, his photophobic shield did right now so there's no way we're taking him out with these but see here another turn boom they all are dead and you can see how I demonstrated different bases like even a base that was stronger or I mean faster than us so that's that's all the power of this team K911 plus Shadowina plus Serpent X and of course the skill mirror combination anyways this is gonna be it for this video I hope you learned something new and a huge shout out to my team Mighty Monster Tears for featuring in this video of course uh, they do a lot for me and I'm really grateful uh, so yeah take care and I'll see you all next time I got the